So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Thalisco Learnings and here I am with a new video on uh, morning motivation and today we will talk about what is the minimum requirement to be into IT, let's say if you want to be an IT professional what is the minimum thing you, de you need, I mean as a fresher, so let's say you have just completed your graduation and you want to be, uh, uh, you want to get into IT, what are, the, what are the minimum things you should know so that you can go for the interviews and you can crack it. Again. Uh, it depends upon different companies, it depends upon different posts you want to go for. Because see, we have different type of companies, right? We have small level companies, we have startups, we have uh, big level companies, we have MNCs, right? So everyone have their own requirements. I mean, they, they want some others, I mean, they, they need some specific skills and some people, they don't need specific skills. They need people who can learn new things, or to, I mean, very fast. So, uh, so they, they have their own requirements, right? Now there's one more thing, you know, uh, so first of all, it depends upon the company. Plus, it also depends upon the post you are applying for. So let's say if you are if you are applying for, uh, I mean, applying to Infosys, and they have different departments, right? They have different profiles. So depend upon different pro profiles. Again, they they will need different uh, different things. But for minimum, you know, let's see. If you want to be very specific, if you want to go for development, so again, we have different things. If you are for testing, we have different tools. But m what is minimum things they require from you? So I would say the minimum thing which they require is the first one, let's say if you're a fresher and you want to get into any company like Infosys or DirectEye, uh, maybe uh, maybe Microsoft, Google, so all they need one specific thing is the way you think, okay? So see, it's when you talk about development, uh, I'll focus, I will only focus on development part here because there are different tools, so I mean there are different uh, profession, there are different things, right? One is your, uh, uh, we have testing, we have tech support, we have development, we have, uh, uh, work, I mean database administrators, we have networking engineers, so we have different profiles in the company. So my focus would be more on development part because I know that uh, much better than other other things. But for tech support I can say, for te if you want to get into tech support, awesome life, the only thing is, I mean you what you need is uh, good communication skills, uh, good way to write emails and all those stuff and you should know how to solve specific things. Uh, if, you can, if you want to get into development, what are the minimum things you require? The first thing which you require is the, your, your way of problem solving. So you should know how to solve a given problem. And that's why, you know, uh, if you know maths, uh, if, you're, if you're good with maths, you're, you're by default good with programming. So because if you're good with maths, you know how to solve a given problem, right? In fact, uh, in maths, that's what we do. We, we, we write those codes of hence proof. We write, uh, we write code for, yeah, it's very difficult to ha hold your phone. It's you know, yeah. So you have you should be very good with uh, maths. I mean, how to solve a given problem. So to be a good programmer, you should know how to solve a given problem. And that's why you know when you go for the interviews, the first round, the first round they do is aptitude. Okay, because in aptitude they will come to know that how good you are with problem solving. So the first thing you require is is how to know how, how how can you solve a given problem so again you can solve a given problem using maths or they may, they might give you some programming things to solve so first is the way you solve problem which is the uh, which is your quantity to i mean the, the way you can solve a given problem i don't know what you can call it as so that is one thing next you need is uh, a, again a good communication skills because communication is very important so when it comes to you know when it comes to programming uh, I mean, when it, when it comes to development part, you know, communication matters because you are not the only one who will be working on the project, right? So there are different people working on the same project. Now the people will be in India with you. So let's say you have a team of 12 people. Maybe there are four people, they are there with you in India and then they have some other five people, your counterparts in US, right? So you, have, you should know how to communicate with them because solving a given problem is not just about writing code. It's also about uh, sharing what you know. Okay, so you should know that you are working on a module and you can complete that module in this time and you can, you can inform your other, other counterparts that the problem you are facing. So you should know how to communicate with people. Okay, so communication simply means that putting your ideas in front of them, putting your uh, thoughts in front of them, putting your problems in front of them, right? So first you need is the way to solve a given problem. Second is to uh, the way you can communicate with people. Third is uh, it, it matters how much you know, but it also matters how much you show. So when you go for the interviews, uh, these people, they don't know, right, how much you know. So do, I mean, make sure when you, when you talk to this interview, I mean, in, interviewer, you should know how to communicate with them. You have to inform them that the things you know, because the question they will ask you is based on, 
they want to know how much you know right so so while you are answering you have to make sure that you answer in such a way that they will know that how much you know that's very important so first is your way of problem so, uh, solving the problem second the way you communicate and uh, it also about how much you can show them uh, how much you know right okay now my hands are paining it's very difficult to hold the phone I, next time i will take a selfie stick I, actually i'm in garden with my, my my mom and my with my nephew again with, at the start of the video you have seen up a, a, a kid right that's my nephew okay he's doing some must uh, and anyway so that is that is uh, that is something which we require to be into company so the next thing is at least the knowledge of one programming language again you can be a good you can be good with c c++ java .net php at least one language you should be very comfortable with I mean, let's say if you are comfortable with Java, then is it that you will only get Java job? Not exactly. There are companies, they will need a .NET people or they will need a Ruby person. But if you know Java and they, they can train you on Ruby, provided you know at least one programming language. Because if you know at least one language, it is easy to, le it is, it is easy to learn other languages. But if you don't know any language, how can you learn other language, right? So if you know one language, that, that, that is something which they require. So at least master in one language, any language you prefer. Okay, that's one. Next most important is the knowledge of data structures. Okay, because in lots of interviews they will ask you, they will ask you the questions on data structures only. You know, how to how binary sort works, how bubble sort, how not bubble sort, binary search, bubble sort, then quick quick sort, what is stack, what is heap, and all those stuff. You know, they will they will check your data structure skills and how can you solve a given problem using some algorithms. So you should know how to do programming plus you should know how to do how to write a data structure code also okay that's that's important the algorithms you have to learn then the concept of os which is operating system the concept of networking so if you go for this interviews they will always ask you these questions on um, os networking and all the stuff okay so yeah so this is the minimum requirement i mean the minimum thing you should know for before applying for any programming job and having certification in one language that will be again added advantage let's say if you if you want to get into java make sure you make sure you go for uh, java i mean get java certified or maybe some other other uh, other technology certification so yeah that's it if you have any more queries if you have any more ideas share with your friends on on on, on youtube just comment in the comment section if you have any more tips to give them that's it that's my uh, morning motivation thank you so much